Hello again, church family. It's Pastor Craig here with another one of our mini sermon series. Uh, today I'm coming to you, well, from my own front yard. And as you can see, the sun is out a little bit and it's been raining a little bit because that's Oregon. That's what it does here is it rains and it suns at the same time. <laughs> but all of this weather has helped to produce uh, a, a spring where the grass is growing and the bushes are growing quickly and there's just a lot of maintenance and yard work to be done around this time. And maybe uh, if you're like some people that have been, uh, been laid off from work temporarily because of the virus that's going around, maybe you're finding yourself a little extra time to work around the yard. And that's a good thing to interact with God's creation. We want to do that. What a blessing it is to have the time uh, to be able to go out and just uh, with our hands and our feet, just engage uh, that which God has created. Now I'm going to say also, this just creates a new opportunity for us that we can have this chance to go out and to interact for, with our neighbors, our senior saints, or anybody that you might know that has a lot of yard work to get done. And maybe this has given you an opportunity to go and make a meaningful connection with them. Uh, what an incredible opportunity this might be to share the gospel or just to share God's love, or just to let people know that you care. Because at the end of the day, people, people want to know that you care. And so um, that's our opportunity that we have now to be the hands and feet of the body. I'd like to read a passage for you if I could. This is in 1 Corinthians chapter 12. I'm going to pick up in, in verse 12. The human body has many parts, but the many parts make up one whole body. So it is with the body of Christ. Some of us are Jews, some of us are Gentiles, some of us are slaves, and some are free, but we have all been baptized into one body by one spirit, and we all share the same spirit. Let me jump down to verse uh, 27. All of you together are Christ's body, and each of you is a part of it. Here are some of the parts that God has appointed for the church. First are apostles, second are prophets, third are teachers. Then there are those who do miracles, those who have gifts of healing, those who can help others, those who have the gifts of leadership, and those who speak in unknown languages. Yeah. The body is made up of lots of parts, noses, toeses, ears. I mean, it's all different parts. But when all these parts come together, then the body comes together and it works. And that's what we have, is an opportunity to be the body of Christ. And we can do that in a meaningful way during this season to our neighbors as we reach out in love and just say, hey, I've got a little extra time. Is there anything I can do to help you? And during that encounter, during that opportunity of sharing with them, caring with them, and talking to them about our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ, make a wonderful application for these days that we've got. Enjoy the weather, enjoy the, all that God, God created, and uh, just be a blessing in Jesus' name. Thanks.